Um, or I guess the better way to put it is when would we actually need one? So you need an alternate if the airport that you filed to doesn't have an instrument approach or if one hour before to one hour after the forecasted weather is Below 2,000 feet ceilings and three miles visibility. All right, so we got that one, two, three rule. If it doesn't have an approach, so you've got some pretty, you're pretty loose on your available options when it comes to choosing a alternate, right? What does mm -hmm. that WAS capable GPS allow you to do when it comes to choosing an alternate? Yeah, so because I have a WAS capable GPS, that means that I can file an alternate that has an RNAV approach. Like that only has an RNAV approach, sorry. But if we didn't have WASP, we would have to file an alternate with a ground-based navigational approach. So what does this little A right here mean? That means that um, there's non-standard alternate minimums. So if you planned on um, filing this airport as your alternate, you should take a look into the chart supplements and verify that it's available. Or if you need to raise your minimums, if you're a certain category or anything like that.